It's finally happening. This fight is is so anticipated, has been so anticipated with everything, of course, the huge bad blood and all the crap that these guys have talked towards each other and it's finally coming. And what's super interesting how this is going to be the first pay-per-view headline in the UFC in like five years uh, other than also Jorge Masvidal versus Nate Diaz without a title fight on the line without being involved and caused kind of by Conor McGregor. So that just sh goes to show how big and popular. How big of a star both these guys have become in the last couple of years. I mean, Jorge Masvidal's rise to popularity was, was insane with his six second knockout of Ben Askren, obviously with his second round knockout of Darren Till and then his third round stoppage against Nate Diaz. I mean, all three of those fights just rose him to popularity one by one by one. And he's just been super exciting, obviously coming off those two losses to the champion. Uh, Kamar Usman and obviously that knockout which is definitely going to be interesting to see how that affects things because I mean in his professional f career of over 50 fights he hasn't been knocked out once besides to Kamar Usman so it's going to be interesting to see if maybe that affects his confidence maybe if that affects his game but he's a veteran and I don't know if it will because he's been able to recover from some tough losses and you know he has 15 losses on his MMA record so I think he'll be able to deal with it but it's it's definitely going to be interesting to see if maybe maybe that could play a factor in this. And also, how you mentioned Jorge Masvidal becoming a huge star. Colby Covington, as well, has built his brand up ever since uh, his Damian Maia fight and just turned heel. Brazil, you're a dog. All you filthy animals suck. I got one thing to say. Tyrell Woodley, I'm coming for you. If you don't answer the front door, I'm going to knock in and I'm going to take what's mine. That was the way Bill. Whether you love him or hate him, he's just a huge, he's a huge character in the sport now. Coming off that, Usman lost both guys. And... It's going to be interesting to see how each guy kind of evolves from that loss and what they're able to kind of adapt. Yeah, and of course, I mean, the most interesting thing about this fight is that they've trained before together and that they were best friends. And I mean, just the fact that they've trained together and like for, for years and obviously had many, many fights in the gym and uh, sparring sessions. And they just they probably know exactly how each other fight and their each of their strengths, each of their weaknesses, how effective they are in certain areas against each other. And just that unique dynamic of this fight is definitely going to be super interesting. On the feet, uh, Masvidal definitely has an edge in, in terms of his striking ability. I mean, Colby's, Colby's not bad at striking at himself, but I think Masvidal definitely has an edge in that aspect. It's really interesting to see how these guys came from amazing friends, trying to build up into the game, into the MMA game, and just trying to level themselves up both skill-wise and name-wise. And then now they've diverted into, into enemies, and they're, they're going to fight. It's it's going to be interesting to see if Masvidal could knock out Colby, who's going to be able to keep it standing, if he's able to defend takedowns well, which we've seen him be able to do pretty well. But I think on I think when it, when it comes to a decision, Colby would definitely be able to you know outpace Masvidal with I mean he, he has amazing cardio and just an amazing volume fighter. So I think if it if it goes to points, it goes to Colby. I think I think if it's by submission, it's definitely Colby. So yeah, I think if either of them are going to get a knockout, I think definitely. Masvidal has that edge, but it's it's definitely going to be interesting to see. I mean, who knows? We could just see a six-second KO, <laughs> just like <laughs> just like the Ben Askren fight. You never know. But I mean, Colby has, is is such an elite fighter. I don't see him really letting anything like like that happen for sure. Um, but I mean, it's definitely it's it's going to be interesting to see how they're going to neutralize each other's abilities. But it's going to be interesting to see their improvements since the last time they've uh, trained with each other. I mean. Masvidal continuing to train an American top team and uh, Colby going to MMA Masters and uh, it's going to be interesting to see who's who's uh, developed more as a fighter and who's developed more to develop a game uh, the better game plan and because of uh, Jorge Masvidal getting knocked out cold by Kamar Usman uh, what if his chin's also uh, what if his chin's affected and maybe we could see uh, even though Colby's more of a volume guy what if we see him actually being able to stop uh, Masvidal on the feet? Would that, 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 would, be be, that would be crazy? I mean, it's also uh, no one would expect that. No one. It's also going to be interesting to see how they have each developed uh, coming off of their fights with Kamar Usman. I mean, when you compare their performances, obviously Colby has by far the edge and and performance wise. I mean, he went his first fight with Kamar Usman was very close. I think it was probably it was probably even going into that last round. Kamar obviously got the stoppage there. The fake stoppage with the fake ref. That's cool, B likes to say. That was a Look fake stoppage, me. fake I ref, broke fake fight. Face. Wait till I see you next time. Wait till I see you next time, Marty Fake Newsman. You're dead. With Jorge's first fight against Kamar Usman, he 
he pretty much just got dominated through av throughout every round and pretty much got I think 50 45 or 50 44 it was you know it was pretty it dominant was it was pretty dominant on Usman's part so I mean to he be was fair he had a short camp but well I guess we saw what happened when he had a full camp <laughs> yeah. he kind he of done even he was worse. on 6 days notice so you know, he didn't really have fully time to prepare a game plan or prepare a strategy to beat Usman. But, and then, obviously, that second fight as well, Jorge's performance definitely didn't match uh, Colby's. Obviously, getting knocked out in the second round brutally. And uh, Colby being able to make it a really competitive fight this time around. I mean, the, well, both of the time arounds, they're pretty competitive. But made made it really competitive. And uh, Usman, Usman got the nod probably by one round. It was definitely a competitive fight. And Colby made it really competitive. And it was a great fight as well. So... I think uh, when you compare their performances, obviously Colby has an edge, but at the same time, styles make fights, and the the styles of Jorge and Colby are completely different. And when the odds are least, I think it was a, a sizable favor for in favor of Colby Covington, which is definitely interesting, yeah. and I think it obviously makes sense considering their last couple of fights. Masvidal got stopped by Usman and lost to him, and then Colby Covington having a win against Tyron Woodley and a close fight against Kamar Usman. So, I mean, you're only as good as your last fight, right? So the odds definitely make sense there. It's going to be interesting to see if uh, Masvidal could, could pull off the ups, upset. And maybe we, we've seen him do it before. I mean, I think he was pretty sure he was uh, an underdog against Ben Askren. So you never know. <laughs>